Well, everybody, how's it going? Mr. Dan Tom Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Friday, April 29th, 2022, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mel. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Chris Pratt's Owen Grady embarks on a dinosaur rescue mission in the latest trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. The raptor Blue, who Owen has worked with throughout the series as a baby, who was kidnapped by poachers in the clip released on Thursday. Owen promises to get the infant raptor back, setting himself, Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire Deering, and Isabella Sermon's Maisie Lockwood on a new adventure. The group will also encounter original Jurassic Park star Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum, who are reprising their roles of, as Alan Grant, Ellie Statler, and Ian Mac- Malcolm, respectfully. Jurassic World Dominion takes place four years after the Isla Nublar was destroyed, creating a world where dinosaurs live and hunt alongside humans. Jurassic World Dominion by returning series director Colin Trevorrow is roaring into theaters June 10th. Co-stars include DeWanda Wise, Amamadou Athi, B.D. Wong, Omar Sy, Campbell Scott, Justice Smith, Scott Hayes, Ditch and Latchman, and Daniela Panetta. Netflix is gearing up for the release of Money Heist Korea Joint Economic Arena, or Area. Uh, the streaming service shared a teaser and June's premiere date for the Money Heist series Thursday. The promo features the voice of Professor, played by Yu Ji Tai, and shows a glimpse of the full class. The Professor, Yo, says a robber who steals petty cash either gets killed after being chased or ends up in jail. But a robber who steals at a massive scale can change the world and become a hero. The character adds, of all the Money Heists, we'll pull off the biggest one yet. The public will watch the greatest show on Earth live, and they will root for us. Jail John So, Park Hye Su, Lee Wong Jong, uh, Kim Jai Hoon, Jang Yong Ji, Lee Hyun Woo, Kim Jing Hun, and Lee Kyo Ho also star. Money Heist Korea is based on the Spanish series Money Heist, aka La Casa de Papel. The original series is created by Alex Pina and had a three season run that ended in December on Netflix. The Korean series takes place in the world where North and South Korea are on the verge of a peaceful reunification. The professor assembles a team of thieves to steal the new unified currency. Money Heist Korea premieres June 24th on Netflix. James Corden confirmed Thursday that he is ending his tenure as host of CBS The Late Late Show after next season. Earlier Thursday, The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, and Entertainment Tonight reported that Corden agreed to a one-year contract renewal with CBS and will then depart the Late Night series in spring 2023. In Thursday's monologue, the Late Night host addressed the news and said it was never intended to be nation. Corden says, this will be my last year hosting the show. When I started this journey, it was always going to be just that. It was going to be a journey, an adventure. I never saw it as my final destination, you know, and I never wanted this show to overstay its welcome in any way. I always wanted to love making it, and I really think in a year from now, that will be a good time to move on and see what else might be out there. Corden signed a deal to host The Late Late Show, which was previously hosted by Craig Ferguson in 2014 and premiered in March on March 23, 2015. During his tenure, the 43-year-old Corden introduced multiple signature segments on the show, including Carpool Karaoke, Drop the Mic, and Crosswalk the Musical. Corden concluded his monologue by saying he's determined to focus on the year ahead and go out with a bang. He says we still have a year to go, and we are uh, determined to make this the best year we've ever had making the show. We are going out with a bang. This is going to be carpools, crosswalks, and sketches, and other surprises. Kiernan Shipka is opening up about her friendship with Timothy Chamelet. The 22-year-old actress discussed Chamelet during Tuesday's uh, Thursday's episode of Watch What Happens Live. Shipka confirmed that Chamelet used to live with her and her family. She said he would crash with us for a while. The actress was asked to name the weirdest habit of Chamelet that she noticed while he was living with her. She said, I would, I would say that his eating habits were always funny to me. 
like the times of day that he ate were always kind of quite odd. Shivka also said that she would bring Chamalep with her on potential dates. She said, uh, one or two times when I wanted to hang out with the guy, and I didn't really know if I wanted, to, I wanted it to be a thing or not, I would bring a friend, and he was usually the friend I would bring. Yeah, like a big bro. Skip, Shipka then shut down the possibility of her and Chamalet dating. Uh, she says, no, we're very much so. He's like a, a, like a brother to me. Uh, Shipka also discussed Chamalet on Thursday's episode of Late Night with Seth Meyers. The actress said she befriended Chamalet on the set of their 2015 film One and Two when she was 14. Shipka is known for playing Sally Draper on Mad Men and Sabrina Spellman on The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Chamalet has starred in such films as Call Me By Your Name and Dune. Netflix unveiled eight new characters Mike Myers is portraying in his new original series, The Pentroverted, on Thursday. Myers created the half-hour comedy, which premieres May 5th. Ken Scarborough is the protagonist, a Canadian journalist who goes undercover to infiltrate the secret society, The Pentrovert Rate. Uh, Anthony Lansdowne is a conspiracy theorist from New England. Rex Smith is a radio wing radio host. Laura Lorrington is the leader of the Pentaverate. Bruce Baldwin comes from the Pentaverate after his career as a media mogul. Mishu Ivnan is a Ru Russian oligarch. Myers um, also includes music manager Sheb Gordon among the Pentaverate character. Myers directed a documentary about the real Gordon. Lastly, um, Jason Elkinson is the Pentaverate's tech guru. Elkinson invented their computer system mentor. No stranger to play multiple roles, Myers played both Austin Powers and his nemesis, Dr. Evil, in a trilogy of films. In later sequels, Myers also played the roles of Fat Bastard and Gold Member. The Pentavert Raid also features Rob Lowe, Maria Melinos, Ken John. Keegan-Michael Key, Deborah Meinzer, Richard McCabe, Jennifer Saunders, and Lydia West in live-action roles. Jeremy Irons narrates the show. Matea Roach continued her Jeopardy streak Friday with her impressive 19th win as she competes to become one of the most successful contestants in the trivia game's history. Uh, Roach, a 23-year-old Canadian tutor, tutor, has won more than $460,000 after securing $21,001 from her Friday win. She is now in a three-way tie with David Madden and Jason Cifrineri for the six most consecutive wins in the show's history. With two more wins, her streak would pass that of Julia Collins and trail only James Holzhauer, Matt Almadillo, Amy Schneider, and Ken Jennings. Roach, the show's youngest super champion, was challenged in her match Friday by Julian Glander, an animator from Pittsburgh, and Terry Huggins, an admissions director in New York. By the end of the first Jeopardy round, Roach trailed Glander, putting her streak to the test. Glander, who had answered 11 questions correctly and just one incorrectly, had an end-of-round score of $4,200 compared to Roach's $3,400. Roach had 10 correct answers and two incorrect answers. But Roach came back strong during Double Jeopardy after answering 15 questions correctly and just won incorrectly. She won $2,000 for the correct answer of the first Daily Double, but lost $4,000 for her second Daily Double answer for an end-of-round score of $17,000. Glander had an end-of-round score of $11,000 after answering all seven questions he buzzed in for correctly. Huggins buzzed five times with three uh, correct answers of an end round score of $800. During the final Jeopardy round, Roach wagered $5,001 and was the only contestant to answer the question correctly. Glander wagered $6,001 for a final score of $4,999, while Huggins wagered $799 for a final score of just $1. There were nine triple stumpers where no player answered a question correctly during the Friday's match. Roach has answered 514 questions correctly and 41 incorrectly during her streak for a ratio of 92%. Ann Asted has been denied full custody of his Tyler son with his ex-wife Christina Hat. Asted's emergency request for full custody of Hudson London, his two-year-old son with Hack, was refused Thursday by a California Superior Court judge in Orange County, people reported. 
The ex parte application was denied because Anstead had insufficient showing of concern surrounding Hudson and didn't give Hack enough notice, according to page 6. Anstead and Hack will attend a hearing about the matter June 28th. Anstead filed for full custody of Hudson on Thursday. In his filing, Anstead claims he has been the primary parent to Hudson and says Hack has spent an average of nine full days each month over the last 20 months uh, with their son. In addition, TMZ says Anstead raising concerns about Hack's parenting, including an instance where Hudson had a bad sunburn and said Hack once returned their son to him without disclosing her family had COVID-19. Hack responded to the filing in a statement to Us Weekly. She says, what Ann is doing deeply saddens me. If this was really about Hudson, as he says, this should be, have been handled privately with the private judge or meditation, as myself and my attorney has suggested. I've had my good share of ups and downs, but I am a good mom and I love my children with all my heart and I will always protect them. Anson and Hack split in September 2020 after less than two years of marriage. Hack has two other children, uh, daughters Taylor and son Brain, with uh, former uh, her ex-husband and former flip-flop co-star Tariq Al Musa. Anstead has since started dating actress Renee Zellweger, while Hack recently married Joshua Hall. Diplo compared music festivals Coachella and Stagecoach and performed his song Don't Forget My Love with Miguel on Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Uh, Diplo said on Thursday uh, with the following, they're totally different. I think Stagecoach is a little bit smaller than Coachella. Coachella has two weekends and there's like 40 levels of VIP. You have general emissions and you have all the way to like the craziest artist passes. It's almost like influencer survivor. They're like to figure out where you belong and how to get into the parties. He, he continued before noting that Stagecoach is a melter. Diplo will be performing at the country themed Stagecoach Festival this weekend for the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California. The DJ previously released a country theme album in May 2020 titled Diplo Presents Thomas Wesley, Chapter One Snake Oil. Diplo says the album went gold and I'm going to do another one, I think, this year about releasing another country theme album. Miguel sang the vocals for while Diplo acted as a DJ for their performance of Don't Forget My Love. Miguel moved from the stage and started singing near Fallon's desk as the late night host enjoyed the song. Don't Forget My Love is available on Diplo's recent release, self-titled album. Future is back with some brand news music. The 38-year-old singer and rapper released his ninth studio album, I Never, Love, I Never Liked You, on Friday. In addition, Future shared a music video for his song, Keep It Burning, featuring Kanye West. I Never Liked You also featured 7.12 p.m. Far Nut, featuring Gunna Young Thug, Wait For You, featuring Drake and Terms, and I'm On One, featuring Drake and other songs. In the May issue of GQ, Future says he shows a vulnerability on the new album. The star says, putting this project together is just people understanding that I love hard, probably love the hardest. I wanted to showcase my skills as far as melodies and topics and being vulnerable. He added, I'm putting myself out there, sharing my lifestyle with the world, sharing my pain with the world, sharing my ups, sharing my downs with the entire universe. I believe in the energy of the universe and manifestations. That's why I'm giving myself, I'm willing to give you, all of you, or all of me, so you can tell me how to build on me and make me a better me. I never liked you as Future's first album since High Off Life, released in May 2020. South Korean singer and rapper Psy is back with new music. The 44-year-old K-pop star released the album Psy 9, in a music video for the song That That, featuring BTS member Sugar on Friday. The that That video shows Psy and Sugar play cowboys who have a showdown in the Wild West. Sugar co-wrote and produced That That with Psy. The pair discussed working together in a video titled Best Friends 16 Years Apart on Monday. Psy said of Sugar, when meeting young artists, I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. He wasn't just my junior in my business, but he also truly feels like a friend. It was hard to feel any age gap. I think he thinks of me as a bestie, and that's great for me. Sugar added, at first, because he's many years my senior and someone who is well-respected in the business, I was quite nervous. It felt like working with a childhood friend, so it made the 
songwriting process that much more fun. It became besties in a way. Psy 9 also features You Move Me, Sleepless featuring Hines, and Gaji Play featuring Jezzy, now featuring uh, Mamu member Haswasa, and other songs. The album is Psy's first since Psy 8, 4 times 2 equals 8, released in May 2017. Psy is best known for the hit singles Gangnam Style. Sam Smith is back with new music. The 29-year-old British singer released a single and music video for the song Love Me More on Friday. Love Me More is an anthem about finding self-worth. The video opens with a home video from Smith's childhood and early career, then shows the singer wake up and go dancing in the present day. Smith said in a statement, I wrote this song for anyone who feels different, anyone who has to stop themselves every day for saying unkind things to themselves in their head all the time. I always felt that the longest time and slowly what I'm learning how to be just nice to myself, I want to share that because I captured it in the song. Uh, they, also, they also added over the last two years, music has been my therapy than ever. So I hope this can be, uh, this can be your, your friend. Smith said on Instagram that Love Me More marks a new era in their music. The star says, I'm overjoyed to announce the release of my new song, Love Me More. It feels like the perfect way to begin this new chapter with your life. Uh, she also said, um, he also said, excuse me, uh, it takes a lifetime to be able to express this type of joy and honesty in my music. And I'm so happy to have you all here with me. I hope you love it. Welcome to the beginning of a new era. It's going to be fun. Love Me More is Smith's first single of 2022 and their first sing official uh, single in nearly two years. The singer released uh, their third studio album, Love Goes, in October 2020. And here are the top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 Studio Charts for the week of April 30th. Number 10, Just to Beaver with Ghosts. Number 9, Kodak Back with uh, Super Gremlin. Number 8, Doja Cat with Woman. Number 7, Morgan Wow with Don't. Don't Think Jesus. Number six, The Killer Roy and Justin Bieber would stay. Number five, Imagine Dragons and, and J.I.D. with Enemy. Uh, number four, Lato with Big Energy. Number three, Glass Animals with Heat Waves. Number two, Jack Harlow with First Class. And the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 Studio Charts for the week of April 30th is Harry Styles with As It Was. And as your entertainment report for Friday, April 29th, 2022, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night, and God bless you all.